Rated T for Teen. The two protagonists in the game are the scorpion and the tarantula, and these were chosen because they have natural weapons. The tarantula is the ninja of our game, very stealthy and secretive, crawling on walls and crawling across ceilings to approach its prey. It's not going to rush up and attack it head on. It's going to pounce from a distance, or it's going to shoot web at its prey and then rush up and sink its fangs into it to seal the deal. The scorpion's more of a brawler. He's a beat-em-up. He gets in there, and he's using brute force to take on the enemy. He's got his armor, he's got his pincers, he's got his stinger. Those are a lot of weapons that he can use to just go into battle and really assert himself as this melee fighter. We pitched Deadly Creatures as a Wii exclusive because we felt that the unique controls really allowed players to become those predators. Not just pressing a button to strike at a lizard or to pounce through the air, but actually to strike forward with your right hand to lash out with the scorpion stinger. Or to use the IR pointer on the Wii remote to aim at a creature and pounce through the air as the tarantula and land on your prey. And that's something that you're not going to get just with a regular uh, gamepad. The tarantula's got a wide range of attacks and abilities. Your basic movements with the analog stick, not just to crawl across the ground, but also up vertical surfaces, and later along the ceilings as well. All your strikes are done with the right hand. You're gonna lash out with the Wii remote, or you're gonna use combos with both controllers to jump into the air and deliver jump strikes. Later, we bring the IR pointer into it as well. You start aiming at a creature, and then release and leap through the air to deliver a stealth pounce, or you can fire a glob of sticky silk at an enemy and trap it and stop it there so that you can run up and deliver a powerful strike and later we give you the ability to even use that silk to fly through the air and web jump from place to place and uncover new areas that you couldn't get to before. So this is a really wide range of controls using every facet of the Wii. For the Scorpion character in the game, since he's sort of the tank-like character, we wanted to make sure we really accentuated his power and his strength when he's going up against all the different enemies in the game. The Scorpion uses a mixture of buttons and motion controls. Buttons are for quick jabs using the pincher, while the motion controls are for his heavy attacks where he injects venom, where he rips the wings off of enemies, where he pounds them into the ground. Gameplay in combat for the Scorpion relies a lot on combos and using its natural weapons, both the pincers and the stinger. You're going to lash out with your stinger, or you're going to sweep it left right or right left to swipe around in a tail whip and knock any enemies around you out of the way so that you can focus on one and finish the job. Later we give the ability to invert the Wii remote and your Scorpion barrows down into the sand just like a real one would, wait for an enemy to come across, and then flip the Wii remote up so you can lash out and sting by surprise. These creatures at their size, they're very powerful. We took inspiration from monster movies and from horror movies to try and convey the sense of brutality in the depth of combat. We've combined all of these elements to create a very unique gameplay experience in a really rich world that you haven't seen before on any console.